Today, we're filing a consumer protection lawsuit, a civil lawsuit against Dan Snyder, the Washington Commanders, the National Football League, and the NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell. Yeah, you heard some of it there. Four hours ago, D.C. Attorney General Carl Racine made the uh, claim that the commanders, Dan Snyder, and the NFL lied about what they knew regarding that team's workplace culture. Our team is all over this big story tonight. Our sports director, Darren Haynes, just finished speaking with former employees and coaches. But we want to begin with you, Eric Fleck, our chief investigative reporter. Yeah, so Fleck, you were there for the attorney general's yep. announcement. There was a lot to go through. Let's walk us through this. Yeah, Darren and I are sitting right next to each other as we just heard all these stunning developments. This, by the way, is that 45-page lawsuit. It accuses Dan Snyder, the National Football League, and NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell of allegedly working together together to lie to D.C. residents about Beth Wilkinson's investigation into the team's toxic workplace culture and allegations of sexual assault. Racine claims Snyder and the team attempted to prevent witnesses from talking to Wil Wilkinson through payoffs and intimidation and engaged in aggressive, abusive litigation to dig up information on the victims and that the NFL was fully aware of the, quote, intimidation campaign. Creating a misogynist and toxic workplace, um, I don't believe to date there has been public accountability uh, in a court of law where the allegations concern very serious violations of wrongdoing. We will issue subpoenas. We will seek testimony under oath, deposition. I promise you, let me just give you a hunch. The depositions not likely to occur on a yacht, but in a conference room in the District of Columbia. Racine certainly enjoyed that moment. Racine's lawsuit is civil, not criminal, seeking potential fines and a more detailed report on what Beth, Beth Wilkinson found in her investigation. Now, less than two hours ago, the NFL responded, calling Beth Wilkinson's investigation into the commanders thorough and comprehensive and said it imposed a record-setting fine against Snyder and the team, the NFL, adding, we reject the legally unsound and factually baseless allegations made today by the D.C. Attorney General against the NFL and commanders. Commissioner Goodell, and we will vigorously defend against those claims. Meanwhile, the commanders issued their own separate statement saying Dan and Tanya Snyder acknowledged an unacceptable workplace culture and apologized many times. And then this, quote, we agree with the AG we're seeing on one thing, the public needs to know the truth. Although the lawsuit repeats a lot of innuendo, half-truths half and lies, we welcome this opportunity to defend the organization for the first time in a court of law and to establish once and for all what is fact and what, it, what is fiction. In other words, guys, the commanders say, we'll see you in court. We'll yeah. see if it gets that far. Yeah, it seems like a lot of this we've heard before in the AG in this sense. All it, of it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's in, in a sense, just bringing it back to the surface. There is a couple of stuff in the background calls where they gave specific uh, detailed accounts. And you can go to our website, WUSA9.com right now, and we get more into details on a lot of those things. Yeah. But in general... This was their uh, basically confirming what others had reported. So nothing really new came out of I mean, this. Darren, did you hear anything new? No. Uh, it's, it's the only thing new is that they, you know, the civil charges. That's that's new. But in regards to what they were saying, what they found, the details. no. But but I think it kind of, you know, they always wanted the the records to be, you know, presented so we can know what's going on. I think this finally kind of checked off the the mark. Okay it does exist and now they're moving forward with it. I think we've all been waiting for that. And Darren, yeah. you had a chance to talk to former employees, players, yeah, the whole nine today. They've been waiting for this. And, yeah. and, and Eric Flack was, was there with me yeah. when one of the employees actually got emotional yeah. um, when, when we were interviewing her. I mean, it's been a long time coming for, for some of these former employees. And, you know, they've been working on this for, geez, over two years. And they've been looking for transparency and accountability regarding Washington's NFL team and owner Dan Snyder and today they feel like the truth is on the horizon. What did this day mean to you? Oh, it means so much. You know we've been shouting it from the rooftops from get-go. We want transparency and accountability and and wanting to really show the world what Dan Snyder was. Today felt like the first day that um, they've got our back. I'm gonna cry. There's a lot of cameras here. 
It's a bit surreal right now, um, everything from harassment. This is a society issue. The NFL is a microcosm of society. So finally, there, there might be that path. Like for me, this is accountability. Now, this was also another distraction for the actual football players. One player described the news surrounding Dan Snyder and the team as a dark cloud over the organization. Also yesterday, team lawyers tried to use rookie running back Brian Robinson. You remember the player that was shot in a robbery attempt in D.C. as part of their rebuttal to the attorney general's press conference. Here's what they had to say about the news today. It is what it is, man. I can't, I can't control that. You know, uh, like I said, uh, I'm going to just continue to do what I've you know, been doing. Of course it's upsetting. He should never been part of that situation, in my opinion. Um, that's just my opinion. It's always stuff around here, but you got to keep the main thing the main thing. And we want to just focus on playing football. It's very tough to do that, but it's our job. Yeah, so, you know, they have a football game to play on Monday, but every single week it seems like they're some type of new distraction regarding their owner that now these players have to answer uh, to us about. And we know they're professionals and they yeah. have to mm -hmm. do their jobs, yeah. but it has to be a distraction for them. Yeah, actually, you know, one of the players, I'm not going to name who that player, player was, uh, you know, to protect them. Yeah. They say they turn off all their, you know, their social media because they don't mm. want to be distracted by it because they know if they, they read it, they will be. And it taints the brand overall. So. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And meanwhile, those employees, well, I walked into the uh, press conference with them. They said, Megan and, 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 and her friend there said they didn't know what they were about to hear or did. Mm. So is that the sense that you got, that they were just as from, shocked? From, as from, from talking with them, they, they kind of gave me a little bit what, they, what, was, yeah. what it was going to be about yesterday. Yeah. Um, but I think they all knew, like, when they first started this investigation, when they started voicing what was really going on in, in those walls at the Washington Commanders, they never thought they would actually get to this point. Right. Um, they never really believed it. But now all of a sudden they have the attorney general's office behind them. Yeah. Now, you know, now they feel like th there's light at the end of the tunnel. It's validation. Yeah. yeah, there's okay. a lot more to do on this story. And of course, we'll be taking this apart and tackling it throughout the night. But of course, a lot of us are wondering what DC fans are saying about yet another scandal hitting the organization. Oh yeah, Casey Nolan has been looking for fans all evening. He's in, uh, he's live in Navy Yard tonight where a lot of DC sports fans typically hang out. And uh, Casey, what are fans telling you? Well, as we've been talking to people here about this situation with the commanders, we've actually gotten a lot of questions back from fans ranging from, is this the best use of time and resources by the AG to, and I'm not making this up, who are the commanders? Overall, I would say most of the people we've been able to talk to have been supportive of this action by the AG. Take a listen to a, a, sample, a sample of what we've been hearing here this afternoon. Yeah, I think it is important. I feel like higher power does show that maybe something can be done, some kind of actions. If you're in a toxic work environment, that maybe that will scare those who are you know, making the environment toxic. It, it impacts them on and off the field. Uh, it impacts the wins and the losses. It, is can be demoralizing. Um, it can drive fans away. Uh, so um, I've never heard of an attorney general going after an owner, but um, but I understand it. In the next few years, we might end up winning some. You feel me? So we always got hope. DC, we always got hope. But yeah, we don't want if this if this can potentially take it away from us. We don't want that. And by that, he means the devil you know can be better than the owner you don't. He's worried that Dan Snyder might actually sell the team because he's worried what a new owner might do with the team. We're a long way from that. We also did, as we said, hear from some fans who are not so sure that this is what the AG should be doing, and not, maybe not his top priority. We'll hear from them coming up at 6. We'll send it back to you. All right, Casey, thank you so much. And, you know, just an hour ago, we did get off the phone with Jody Bassam, a sports legal expert from the Brooklyn Law School and a former NFL counsel. She says this is really an unusual application of D.C.'s consumer protection laws. The AG will have to prove that had fans not been misled, they would not have purchased tickets or bought that merchandise. It keeps media attention, public attention on the toxicity and um, sort of immorality of the Washington commander's workplace, something that would not be helpful to Dan Snyder at a moment where he's apparently trying to sell the team. It also uh, seeks a court order that requires the NFL to make full disclosure of the investigative results, of the investigative findings. 
did talk about uh, legal precedent here as well. We're going to have much more of that conversation online right now. We're streaming live and local for free and 24-7 uh, on the all-new WUSA 9 Plus apps for Roku and Amazon Fire TV. You can get this newscast on your own time and exclusive local content. Just search WUSA 9 in the Roku or Fire TV app store.